All right, so we want to put the foot on the Bernina. Normally when you buy a Bernina, you buy an ankle and a foot. That's what you buy. What I want you to think about doing is buying an ankle, an ankle by itself. You may already have this. Not many people have this already, so I just have to give you a heads up. If you own a 330, a 350, a 390, some of the 200 line of machines came with this, you may have this. If you bought a foot from us called the Curve Master, you probably have this already. This is one option. This is a second option. I want to show you how this works. This comes from our package. The Stitch in the Ditch foot comes with six of these adapters. This, you can see what I call the U right here. It looks like a letter U. I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to have the U to the screw. The U to the screw. So I push that up and what I'm going to do is push this over. When I go to tighten this up, that is going to stay on here. Now I'll put this on, in, on the machine in a minute because we really want that to have tighter. But I want to show you why I prefer one versus another. Do you see how these are basically the same? This is all metal, but this is metal and acrylic. Which one's going to hold up longer? The metal. Of course, if you have a choice of buying, I'd like you to buy this one rather than this. If you own this, this came with my Bernina, then you can use this with our adapter number one. Just be aware that sooner or later, this is going to separate. It's going to end up on the floor. You'll find it when you step on it and you crack it in half. And then you can call us and we'll send you another one. But it's still going to wear unevenly. It's going to sit unevenly. You're going to have issues with it at some point in time because it's just going to wear unevenly because it's not all metal. So if you've got to buy something, this is the something I want you to buy. When you go to your Bernina dealer, you're going to say, I want the adapter that's a snap-on adapter that's like the ones on the 300 machines that is just the ankle, no foot attached. It has the red button on the back. We'll take a look at this one and you can see that's the ankle and the foot. So we want just the ankle. Now let's talk about your particular machine. When you look at this right here versus this one here, you can see this is flat and this has a little bit of a groove there. This one has a curve to it and there's no groove in there. This is new style, this is old style. What do I mean by new style? If you have a new 830 versus the old 830, new 830, old 830. If you have a four digit, um, a 1530, a 1090, those are all old style. If you have a three digit that's fairly new, and by fairly new I mean like 10, 15 years, not 20, 30 years, the old 830, that's an old style. But if you have a a uh, 180, a 200, a 440, a 630, any of those machines, those are considered new style. All you need to do is look at your foot to take any of your feet off of your machine or out of your little case that you have all your feet in and look to see. Is it flat with a notch or does it have more of a rounded edge with no notch? So based on that, you'll be able to tell new style, old style. I have a part number for you. I have information on this. That's going to be posted on the website where I have all the written directions. So if you need something to give to your Bernina dealer, you can give that to them. Or they can always call me or you can call me and I'll tell your dealer exactly what you need. They don't always stock this in the store. So it's something that they may have to special order from you. Pricing-wise really varies from your Bernina dealer. This is anywhere I've seen as low as $9.99 up to like $25. I've seen this anywhere from... $14.99, that's rare, closer to like $24, and I've seen it as high as $40. Why do I love this so much? Right now, all you can do on your Bernina is put Bernina feet. That's great, except that Bernina doesn't make every Bernina or every foot out there. Once you own this, you can put any universal foot on there. Universal foot, Martelli makes a universal foot, but so does Janome, New Home, Elena, Baby Lock, Brother, and New Singer feet. This snaps on and it snaps off. Faf, Viking, and Bernina, they're what I call not playing well with others. So Bernina, Viking, Faf, they don't play well with others. That means you can never interchange those feet on any other machine. And we'll talk about those in particular videos as well. All right, so I've got my snap-on adapter. We're going to talk about the one that I recommend, this one. And this one has that slot on the back. It's straight with the slot on the back. This is a 180. And a 180 is just like an 830, the new 830s, a 730, the 440, the 200s, the 155s, all of those newer style machines. So I'm going to place this on just like you would place on any foot. Bring that down, and now I'm going to grab my foot, and I line this up. And when I line that up, I'm going to drop that, and then it snaps on. Snaps on and snaps off, just like any other 
other machine. Janome, New Home, Elena, Baby Light, Brother, New Singers, even Fof's their snap-ons. Fof isn't universal. That's why it doesn't interchange with this. But all those other machines, you've got that button that snaps on and snaps off. If you're lucky enough to have one of the 300 line of machines, then this should have come with your machine already. So we've got that snapped on. Now we're going to look at what other adapter is an option. It's the one that I don't recommend, but if you have it already, then you can use it. So we're going to switch the camera angle and we'll show you that one. All right, this is a low shank adapter that is they call it a 75 or a number 77. Again, what you need to know is this flat edge with the groove versus the one without the groove. So this is the one that again fits the 180. The All the three digit machines that are the newer models of three digit machines. So I'm going to bring this on just like we would put any other one on our machine. I've got that on there. I've got my screw open enough so that I can put the U to the screw. I've got the U part here. I'm going to bring this up. What I want to do is I want to hit this all the way up. I'm pushing up, and now I want to push this over a little bit. I don't know if you can see, I've made a little bit of a gap. It's kind of hanging onto the shank. This is our shank from our machine. I'm going to take my screwdriver, and now I want to start to tighten that. If I didn't bring it over first, hanging onto that, I might be screwing this on a little bit crooked. And I actually would take time and tighten that up a little bit, but you get the idea. What are we going to do? I'm going to line this up, and when I bring this down, I'm going to give this a little bit of a push from here. I'm holding onto that screw and locking in. You heard that click. That foot is now on there. This guy here, this is our snap-on adapter, low shank adapter, or sorry, low shank adapter, not snap-on adapter, with our ankle number one. In the documentation, you'll see I talk about the ankle number one for the Bernina. It's a short shank machine. With that on there, this goes on. Now, how do we take it off? We can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That comes off. This is now available and capable of putting on Janome, New Home, Elena, Baby Luck Brother, New Singer Feet on there, simply by lining that up. And when I line that up, bring that down, and again, I'm holding onto that screw and pushing that down, that snaps in. We've just made our Bernina a whole lot more useful. I still want you to buy Bernina feet, but every now and then, if you have another machine, a Janome, for instance, this is going to allow you to put those other feet on your sewing machine. Not Viking, not Foff, because like Bernina, they don't play well with others. You can't put those on other machines because they're not interchangeable. But this is your second option. If you own this adapter already, go ahead and use it. If you don't own it, don't buy this one. I want you to buy that snap-on adapter that I showed you earlier. All right, on the Bernina, I wanted to show you one more thing. This is the new style snap-on. Again, that's for the new 830s, the 180s, the 200s, the 440s, those machines. But on the old style, I looked at some of my old feet and I noticed not only do you have this option where it's round, but you also have this option that's flat. Whatever you're looking for, I don't want to see for the old style that slot, the slot that I'm talking about right here. That slot is what designates the new style versus the old style. The old style might look like this, it might look like this. And by old, old style, what I mean by that is the old 830s, the old three-digit machines, and then the newer 1530s, the um, 1090s, the 1190s, those machines, they'll look like this or they'll look like this. Either way, we're looking for just the ankle, not the ankle and the foot. What we can do with this is snap on. That's going to allow us to put our stitch in the ditch foot, our curve master, those feet that are universal feet on your Bernina.